Hi yoga friends, thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to run through a really short little practice today and just kind of help you um, stay flexible and relaxed during this time. So go ahead and sit in your comfortable seated position just like we do in class. Your ankles are crossed. Your palms are on your knees. Palms are up or down, doesn't really matter. Pull the shoulders back, close your eyes and relax. Totally relax. Start to systematically release all the tension that's in the muscles. And then start to scan your body for any tightness or tension, any discomfort, any of those areas that are stiff. And always stay present. Eliminate those outside thoughts and not allow yourself to go down the road of phone calls and emails and bills to pay. So just relax, bring awareness to your breath. Start to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Just kind of talk to yourself, ask yourself if you're breathing fast or slow, deep or shallow. Start to fill the belly with air and bring it all the way up into the rib cage and expand the rib cage and then all the way up to the chest. Hold for a count of three and then exhale. First from the belly, bring the belly button back toward the spine, then the rib cage and lastly the chest and push out all the air from your lungs. This is our three-part breathing. We do this in class. So you can do this on your own three more rounds. And then when you're finished, go ahead and drop your chin to your chest and pull your shoulders back. Then your right ear to your right shoulder. Bring your chin back to your chest. And then rotate that left ear to your left shoulder, keeping that right shoulder down. Bring your chin back to your chest. And gently lift your head, blink your eyes open. Start to sit up nice and tall on the sits bones, pull the shoulders back once again, hands onto the knees, and we'll do some seated cat cow posing. So we're going to Come forward and look up at that under your neck. We're going to arch the back just like we would if we were on our hands and knees. And we're going to inhale into this position and then we're going to exhale to pull back on the knees and tuck the chin. Really stretch through the shoulders. Come forward and arch the back. Pull back on the knees. Pull the shoulders back. Look up at that under your neck. And exhale as you round your spine. Tuck your, shoulder, your shoulders outward and your chin inward. And then come back to your seated position. And we're just going to do some hip rolls. Come all the way around and pull back on the knees as you come up. Rotate yourself all the way around. Your nose comes down to the mat and back up. You're inhaling as you come up. And exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come up. And exhale as you come down. And take it the other direction. Be sure to pull back on the knees. Use those shoulders. All the way around. complete round. Really pull back on the knees. Use the shoulders. And then come back to your seated position. Bring your arms all the way up. Lace your fingers together and press upward. Your elbows are really straight and close to your ears. And twist to your right. And then back to center. And twist all the way to the left. And then back to center. And let your fingers part all the way down. Bring your right hand just behind you and the left arm comes up. And then we're just going to 
fold all the way to the right. I'll look up underneath the left arm. And bring that left hand behind you. Bring the right arm up. Press to the fingertips and lean to the left. Nice stretch all the way through the side, from the waist all the way through the shoulders. And then come back up. And then we're going to lace the fingers together and press outward. And then upward. Keep the elbows straight. And keep them really close to your ears and twist to the right. And then back to center. And then to the left. And back to center, and then let the fingers part again. Just let them drift down beside you. Take your right hand on your left knee. Take a deep inhale. And exhale as you twist. And look over that left shoulder, cutting your eyes all the way to the left. Now without changing your posture, just take your gaze over your right shoulder. Just a little spinal twist here. And release and bring your fingertips together and then lace them together. You press outward and upward and twist to your right. Back to center and then to your left. And back to center and align your fingers apart. Plant your right hand, left hand comes to that right knee. Look forward and take a deep inhale. And exhale as you twist and look over that right shoulder. <sighs> Cut your eyes all the way to the right. Feel the twist at the waist, helping your digestion. And without changing your posture, just take your gaze over your left shoulder. And release. Place your fingertips together one more time. Bring your arms straight out in front of you and really stretch all the way upward. And exhale as you come forward, pressing through the fingers, stretching the shoulders, and elongating the spine, creating a little space in the vertebra. And then come all the way back up. And let your fingers part one more time. And then we're come onto our hands and knees. We are in tabletop position. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. So this is very important that we're distributing the weight evenly. Press through your fingertips so that you can actually protect your wrists. So the fingertips and the palms. We're gonna do a little tabletop balance. So we'll lift the right arm and really press through the fingertips and then lift the left leg and press the heel. So you're gonna have to flex the left foot. And release your hand, and then bring your knee down. Reposition yourself each time. Lift your left hand and press through the fingertips, and lift the right leg and press through the right heel of that foot. Nice straight arm and nice straight leg. We're actually balancing or holding ourselves up with that right arm, so you gotta really press upward. And then release your hand all the way down to the mat, and then your knee. And then one more time, after you have redistributed your weight once again, lift your right arm, press through the fingertips, press through the heel of the left foot, reach around with that right hand, grab hold of the ankle of the left foot. And push it. Bring it up if you can. And hold. And then release the balance, bring your fingertips out and your heel. And drop your hand back down to the mat. And then your knee. Reposition yourself one more time. And lift your left hand and press to the fingertips. And then your right leg and press to the heel. And reach around with that right, that left hand to the right ankle and pull it up. And release the balance, bring your fingertips out in front of you. Looking out over the fingertips, pressing through the heel. And release your hand, and then your knee. And then we're going to go into our child's pose. So we're going to bring knees the width of your mat. Big toes together. Sit back on 
your heels with your hips. And then you can just bring your hands out in front of you and rest your forehead on the mat. Now in class, we would actually hold this for about five long deep breaths. So you can do this at home. And then walk your hands back. Come back onto your mat into your tabletop position. Bring your hands out in front of you. Press through the fingertips as you lift your hips. Curl the toes under into down dog. We're going to pedal our feet to start. And we're going to press through our, our fingertips on this one. And we're going to drop our head between our arms, scooping out between your shoulders. Really lift the hips. Really stretch. And walk your hands back to your feet. And forward fold. Fingertips on the mat. Your knees are soft. They're never locked. Half lift, bring your hands to your shins. Pull the shoulders back and look forward. Forward fold all the way down again. Reverse swan dive, bring your arms alongside you and all the way up. Palms together and all the way down to heart center and then come into your mountain pose. I'm going to step out with the right foot. The left foot comes back about the distance of your legs in between. You've got a 45 degree angle on the left foot and your toes are pointed toward the front of the mat on the right. So you're going to take the torso, turn it toward the front of the mat. We're going to come into a warrior one. So we're going to bend the right knee, keeping the knee in line with the ankle, never over the toes. Bring your arms up and pull your shoulders back. Use your core, nice straight lines. Then come into warrior two, look up over the fingertips of the right arm, look back at the fingertips of the left arm. It should be even with the shoulders. Lift the arms, bring the shoulders down. Take some weight off the shoulders. Straighten that right knee. Come back with your left hand to the knee. Right arm comes up. Reverse warrior. Drop that right hand all the way down to your ankle. Left arm comes up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Back up again into your warrior two, bending that right knee. And heel toe your feet together. And then we're going to take the left foot out. Your right foot is a 45 degree angle. Turn your torso toward the front. Arms come up, bend the left knee. Knee comes over your ankle and never over your toes. Pull your arms back just a little bit, opening up the shoulders. Coming into warrior two, look up over the left fingertips and then back to the right fingertips. Keep them in line with your shoulders. And straighten that left knee, come back with that right hand all the way down. Reverse warrior, look up at your fingertips. And then take your left hand all the way down to your ankle or your shin, and right arm comes up. Trikonasana. Or a triangle. And then come back into warrior two. Bend that left knee. Pull the shoulders back. And heel toe your feet together. Bring your arms up. And then swan dive all the way down. So a little half lift. Hands are on your shins or your thighs. Pull the shoulders back. Come all the way down to the mat one more time. And then just sit down in your squat position. Sit 
all the way down, come back into your seated position one more time. And bring your arms all the way up, palms together, and down to heart center. And until we meet again, namaste.